We are twins. We are identical twins for that matter. It really is a, just an unspeakable bond that you can't even explain. Sometimes that. freaks people out. Yeah. <laughs> Ultimately, it's your best friend all the time. Growing up, we were very healthy kids. We were both athletes in gymnastics and high diving. So both very physically fit um, until we were about 18 when we went to university. We started to experience bloating, cramping, just severe abdominal pain, running to the washroom. We then went to see doctors who said, it's stress, it's what you're eating. We, we knew that wasn't necessarily the case, but of course you, you listen to a doctor. Because they were athletes, it was hard to picture that they weren't healthy. But my gut told me um, it was something more. And then I had a severe reaction to it. I looked like a burned victim from head to toe. I lost my hair. I, it lasted an entire year. It, it was horrifying. It really was. And so she stopped the drug, I stopped the drug, and we went back to square one, which was no drugs. Emotionally, watching her go completely downhill and I was kind of staying afloat, it, it was devastating, but also scary because at any second I was going, what if I fall into this and I won't be able to be there for her to take care of her. I've been in and out of the hospital for the last four years. She has been there for me through every single one. My mom rushed me to Mount Sinai and they took one look at me and said, you need to have surgery or you're not gonna make it. I ended up being rushed in for emergency surgery before my bowel perforated. I was living on blood transfusions. I couldn't leave the hospital for weeks. They told her if she didn't have the blood transfusions, her hemoglobin was at a level that in a traumatic car accident, she would have been dead. There were certainly days I wanted to give up where I was like, I'm not gonna make it. I don't want to make it. It breaks your heart. I was so proud of Jade being such a support to her sister. Jade gave up having a full-time job. I was her full-time job. It's very hard to watch your twin suffer. You, you know, it just, it's, yeah, why you, not me, and just wondering, is she gonna make it out of this? When well, we're in California. I know, that was like our last year of being healthy. Look at, <laughs> no, look at those ripped tummies. When they kept telling me that having a permanent ostomy bag was a possibility, that was pretty much my worst nightmare. I went, I'm single, I haven't even found somebody to accept me for the way I am now. There's no way somebody's gonna accept me after a surgery and having a permanent ileostomy. So I have an ostomy bag, which means that they've attached my ileum, the bottom part of my small intestine, to the surface of my skin, and it gave me my quality of life back. The bag does not define me, the disease does not define me. She came home from the hospital showing her friends, going to the cottage, wearing two-piece bathing suits, and just having no fear. And I realized that she's gonna be one of um, a new generation of strong women. And her sister's gonna be right by her side. We love it. We love my bag. <laughs> <laughs> it means that I live life to the fullest. I have news, and I just recently got engaged to the man of my dreams. My fiance's name is Andrew. He has told me I was beautiful since the day he met me. I, I love her. She is very beautiful. I want to spend the rest of my life with her in sickness and health. This is the first time in four years that I do not have another surgery scheduled on the horizon, so I am upwards and onwards. So yeah, no, I'm, I'm doing very well. I'm scheduled for a little surgery, but I know I'll get better and thrive again, so. 
we are both quite involved with Crohn's and Colitis Canada. We've been doing the Gutsy Walk every year since we've been diagnosed. Jamie is also mentoring people with ileostomies, so I want to tell my sister that she is so brave and that I'm just so proud of her. Research for Crohn's and colitis is so important. I don't want any other family to have to live through this. And hopefully this generation is the generation that stops this pain. I hope to God that people will donate to this, this cause and just give people a second chance at life because this is, this is my new life and I am going strong.